Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. Uh, my name is Michel Conway. I am QP's uh, airline division uh, president, uh, which represents over 10,000 flight attendants. I've been a flight attendant for the last uh, 15 years. Uh, on May 6th uh, this year, Transport Canada granted an exemption to WestJet to reduce the numbers of flight, uh, flight attendants per passenger's load. On October 31st, they gave the same exemption to Sunwing. They are now considering uh, the request to the same exemption from many airlines in Canada, including Air Transat and Air Canada. Yay! These uh, exemptions are being, ma being made in back rooms, behind closed doors. They are allowing airlines to take off and land with unmanned emergency exits. Yay! They are cutting back on safety to increase airline profits. Yay! Does this sound like a good idea to you? No! In August 2005, Air France Flight 358 ran off the runway in Toronto Pearson Airport. That day, the uh, flight attendant ratio was uh, one flight attendant per uh, 20, 30 passengers. Wow. Less, than, less than two minutes later, the airplane burst into flame. Every single passenger on board got out in time. How can 297 passengers get out of an airplane so quickly? That means that they, there were 10 trained safety professionals on board who knew what to do in an emergency situation. That's four more flight attendants that, than what Transport Canada is proposing now. This past summer, in July 6, Air Transat Air, excuse me, Air Siena Airlines Flight 214 crashed at the San Francisco airport. That day, the flight attendant ratio was one flight attendant for every 24 passengers. The crew member, <laughs> the crew member in the line of duty showed the entire world what flight attendants do. Despite fire, smoke, and personal injury, the flight attendants evacuate the airplane. One flight attendant carry passengers twice twice her size on her back and get them off the airplane and went back to rescue others. These flight attendants remind us all what we do when an emergency happens. Flight attendants are trained to save lives. In an emergency, every second counts. The 1 in 40 ratio is tried, tested, true, and it's safe. Flight attendants are safety professionals. We are the first responder. We are the first line of defense. We, when things go wrong in an airplane, and sadly many things can go wrong in an airplane, we have the evacuation, cabin decompression, the medical emergency, hostile passengers, onboard fires, hijacking, terrorism. Now the newly appointed minister, Lisa Raitt, the transport minister, is getting ready to grant more of these exemptions to other airlines in Canada. In the past, when this issue came up, Transport Canada has expert opinions. They look at the data, they consulted the public, they heavily debated the issue, and they decided that it was a bad idea. <laughs> What's changed? Yeah. Minister Raitt, if you want to help airline make more money, you don't have to cut aviation safety to do it. Yeah. There's other ways. How about cutting airport taxes? We have some of the highest airport taxes in the world. This is extremely expensive to airlines and to passengers. We are losing hundreds of thousands of, custom, of passengers who are driving over the border to take a plane. Yay! Cut those tax and our airline will make more money. And guess what? That won't have any impact on the passenger safety. Yeah. You, re you recently went on the record and said that the safety of Canadian is Transport Canada top priority. Lie! Really? Lie. Is it really? Lie. <laughs> Minister Raid, if safety is truly your top priority, then act on it. Yeah. Yeah. In 2006, 69% of Canadians said that they were against the reduction of flight attendant for the ratio on board our airplane. With me today, I have the signatures of over 13,000 individuals who are saying the same thing. No more compromises to aviation safety. No. Are you listening?
Bring Mrs. Rage! No! No! More! <laughs> Do you care about what the majority of Canadians think? No, she doesn't! <laughs> <laughs> this summer, a Montreal Main and Atlantic train carrying crude oil derailed in Lake Megantic, Quebec and killed 47 Canadians. We found out afterwards that Transport Canada had granted this company safety exemption, a safety exemption that allowed them to ignore the regulation, a safety exemption that allowed them to operate with one conductor instead of two conductors. Minister Raitt, Lac Megantic was horrible tragedy. It should never have happened. Never! Never! Minister Raitt, don't wait it until the next tragedy happens. Don't wait until the next airplane crash to learn the lesson. That's right. That's right. It's not too late to make the right choice and keep our airplane safe. We are air flight attendants, we are safety professionals, we take care of passengers, and we are taking here to take a stand today to tell you that Canadians want to be safe when they take an airplane. They want a government that recognizes this, a government that will side with the public safety over corporate profits. Our safety is in your hands. Thank you. Yeah. I would like to invite Brother Paul Morris, President of QP National.